Hey, how's it going everyone? Well, super, super excited today, especially for this video, because I got a box. Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. And today we have a very, very special unboxing to do today. I am really excited for this. This is from a different company that I don't think a lot of people know about, which is a shame, but I'm a firm believer in the company and the person behind it. So without further ado, let's get inside and see what we got today. All right, so it's now time to see where this thing came from. Seem familiar to anyone? No? Well, that's a shame. So before I get into actually opening this thing up, um, for those of you who don't know this logo, um, you need to check out a certain person named Ola England. He is an amazing, amazing musician and an amazing person. Check him out. Um, but this is his logo, and this is something that I have wanted for quite some time now, ever since I saw how much he actually believes in people and actually giving back to the community. I really started to get behind him and really paying attention to what he's doing and the, the dude is just awesome. So this was in a way of me saying thank you to Ola England. I don't know if you'll ever watch this video or anyone from Solar, but you guys are awesome. I really do appreciate everything that you guys do. Let's open up and see. Now, in case you don't know about Solar guitars, um, you need to. But I've seen enough of their unboxing videos to know that even though that this came with the top layer already open, that it was fine because it comes in another box. But I wasn't expecting this one. Um, I think it's loose. <laughs> to be so loose. <laughs> Maybe it's just a thing. All right, moment of truth. Here we go. Oh, look at that, a gig bag first one ever so by now you can obviously tell that it is a v guitar all right well it's that time uh, trying a different angle of the camera see if you guys can actually capture my reaction because i have yet to see one of these things in person I'm really excited um i mean if you want to know what's inside the gig bag I i've seen this a couple of times it probably has nice little tools in there little workbook or workbook what am i saying um maybe instruction manual warranty booklet there we go it's a warranty booklet inside your gig bag but this thing i have to say i haven't owned a gig bag it's fairly fairly nice um ooh, feels pretty comfortable too all right so it's the moment of truth i'm excited i really really am um, Ever since I got my Jackson, I think that these are just the way to go. All right. And... <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, man. Let's make sure this thing gets out here nice and easy. Move the gig back down. Oh, wow. Wow. Here we go. I'm excited. Are you excited? I know I am. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Wow. Come on. Get off there. Oh my. Wow, a little dust in there, but man. Oh, wow. This is the Solar V26W. Man, this thing is just amazing. I don't see anything crazy going on with it. Wow. 
This is absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I'm, I'm excited. Let's see. Do I gotta pick? Let's see if this thing's in tune. Does it come on the box in tune? That is a no, but it's okay. I went with this one. Um, I know that there are other versions out there that have the um, Evertune Bridge a uh, bit more out of my price range, to be honest. Um, and plus they also don't come in white. I really wish that they did. I kind of, I see a lot of the, the version, this version in black. Uh, I wanted something different and I may have a project coming out uh, with this, but wow, look at this. Here, look, look at this headstock. Let me sure I get it right for you guys. Look at that. Look at that fretboard. Nice little solar design in there. Look at this thing. Man, has a push pull coil split. I've never had one of those before. Um, but man, the, the thing that I like about guitars, especially the ones that I like to play, they all have something in common if you've been watching, and that is it kind of has um, not so much of a bulky heel for the neck, and I kind of like this design. Um, Matt Heafy, he's the one who you know first kind of introduced me to the thought with his signature guitar about doing this. Um, uh, they are solar tuners, but they're not the locking tuners. Again, this is um, not their high-end version, but it is the one that I wanted because it is white and they don't make the Evertune Bridge or anything like that in white, but still. All right, so I'm gonna get this thing in tune and then we're just gonna see how it sounds. Uh, these are solar Duncan, uh, sorry, solar Seymour Duncan pickups or solar pickup, or solar Duncan pickups. I believe I gotta look at the specs. I'm just so blown away by this amazing, amazing guitar right now. Man, this thing's awesome. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna get this thing in tune. We'll uh, do some dirty, some cleans, and just see how it sounds and how it plays right out of the box after it's tuned. All right, well, we got it tuned up. It is an E standard. I'm running this guitar straight into my interface, into the amp sim, the Fort and Cali with Ola England's preset, push out that baby. Too bad. Let's see what it sounds like with the coil split. Not too bad. I do notice that there is a little bit of a high gain output with um, with the coil split, and I do notice that the strings are probably dead. But overall, I have to say, not bad at all. All right, let's try and check out some of the other tones that we have real quick, and then we'll switch to the clean so you can see what that sounds like, as, or hear what that sounds like as well. All right, just a little. I don't know if you're hearing that, but there is a good amount of feedback 
whenever the coil split is there. I don't know if that's just something that is on my end or whatnot, but overall, I mean, you don't really hear it that much. Um, it's probably just something now on the settings. This is what this thing sounds like on the clean. Alright, so now I just want to go through the specs with you guys and overall take a look at this. It is a C-shaped profile neck. It is very thin. It's not as thick as I'd say my Schecter or my Les Paul. Kind of closer more towards the Jackson that I have, which makes it very easy to play. There is no binding on any part of the body whatsoever. The frets are nickel, so not stainless steel, which you know, for the price, I expected something like that. It is a 25 and a half scaling with 24 super jumbo frets as well. The top inlay only has the solar logo, which is, you know, different. This is the first time that I'm actually owning a guitar that doesn't have any kind of other fret markers except for on the top. They, I don't think, no, that they're not lumen inlay, which is fine. There's ways around that as well. It does have, you know, the one volume knob and a push pull down here, a three way toggle switch. Um, I don't know if that counts as double when you have the push pull, if you want to look at it that way. It is, the strings are, mounted, are routed through the back, and that is also where the jack is, which is kind of nice. Um, some people I've seen want to take this and move it down over here. Um, my Jackson has the jack input up here versus down here. I personally don't see a difference at the t at the moment, but you know it is what it is. So this is a mahogany body guitar. It does have a ebony fretboard with a maple neck, and I think that's about it as far as I'm looking at the specs right now. So, um, but yeah, overall, I mean, for the price, I I gotta say I'm just when I when I look at this headstock, it just man, wow. Absolutely amazing. Just look at this again, you know. All right, so at this point, I'm going to go on ahead and do what I normally do. Oh, I'm sorry, I, I didn't mention this earlier. These are Duncan Solar pickups. I think I said Solar Duncan earlier, but they are Duncan Solar pickups, and man, they, they sound absolutely amazing. But yeah, so I'm going to do the quick, you know, montage so you guys get a better look at this thing, and I'll see you in a second.
Hey everyone, well, that's the end of the video. Again, thank you guys so much for coming and stopping by and checking out this video. You know, it really does mean a lot to me and hitting that subscribe button, clicking that like button really does help me out a lot. Please, by all means, share the link with your friends, with your friends' friends, your family, your dog, your dog's family, and let's try and get to 1,000 subscribers soon. Right, until then, guys, I'll see y'all next time.